We begin with breaking news out of Fisherman's Landing on Point Loma, where multiple people were just rushed to the hospital. Thanks for joining us. I'm Eric Connors. And I'm Stella Escobedo. News 8's Chris Groh is live at the scene right now. Chris, what can you tell us? Yeah, so let me set the picture here and kind of show you guys what we're seeing right now and then we'll back up on the timeline. Right now you can see there are members of what's called a narcotics task force. Essentially, that's going to be anybody with the police, sheriff's department that works with drugs, even the DEA. And the reason they are here is because they believe that four crew members overdosed. They're still not sure potentially on what, but let's back up now. So they got a call just before 9 o'clock. Harbor Police did about four crew members found unresponsive of various parts of the boat, but aboard the Shogun. Now, this is a charter boat fishing uh, boat that was supposed to leave on a three day fishing expedition. Uh, it was just before they were about to take off when those four were found unresponsive underneath. Now, when the fire department got here, they administered Narcan, which is often used whenever somebody overdoses on an opioid, heroin, fentanyl. So that is why you're seeing this large response here, because according to Harbor Police, it is very rare to see four people overdose at one time in one location unless something suspicious is happening. So that's why we're seeing this task force is all over this boat right now. We have seen at least one drug dog continuing this search. We are told that law enforcement speaking with multiple people. Now, a key point here, there were no passengers, no customers of this charter boat on board at the time only crew members. They had just gotten back from a three day trip. They were about to go on a three day trip and we actually spoke with one of those potential passengers that was sitting out here, had everything loaded up on the boat, ready to go with his son who traveled down from Northern California to go on this fishing trip when they found out uh, that these overdoses had happened. And this is what he told us about what he saw. When we saw the first ambulance, we were hoping, you know, somebody broke their arm or something little like that, and they would just slow us down. But then when more and more guys started showing up and we saw the captain being uh, hauled off on a uh, stretcher, we, we knew. Now, again, so, some good news here. All four that had that Narcan administered to them, they were taken to the hospital. We're told that two had to be taken on stretchers, but two were able to walk somewhat on, on their own. But they are in the hospital, and according to Harbor Police, they are expected to be okay, though we are waiting uh, an update on their status or potentially any health complications uh, due to what they believe happened on board. Now, uh, I want to also point out no arrests have been made, according to the Harbor Police uh, sergeant that we spoke with, but they are speaking with witnesses. They have uh, essentially kind of cornered off some people that they are speaking to alone from the public because this anybody that's been down here at this landing knows that this uh, is a pretty tight quarters. You see a lot of people going in, uh, walking in and around. Uh, so this caused quite the scene here uh, early in this morning and even closer as we got here to this midday. Uh, so we are still working to get some information. Uh, but again, that is uh, at this point what we know that four people were found uh, potentially overdosed aboard the Shogun charter boat fishing uh, boat. And we are still waiting to find out potentially why uh, so much law enforcement is here at this time still investigating.